Hello everybody, it's Brian and I'm going to go over uh, some sampling distribution problems. Um, look at using the sampling distribution calculator from statpowers.com. Um, so typically you're going to have, I mean the questions are going to be kind of of the form of, um, you want to know, you know, what's the 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 mean of the sampling distribution of of your x bar um, or a sample proportion right so you you have uh, a population that's described to you and you're you're sampling from that <clears throat> so you want to know what is the um, what is the mean of the if you were to sample you know a bunch of times on average is your sample average like what what value your sample average is going to take on average i know it's like so confusing because there's so many layers to it but okay here here's here's how we're going to do it it's pretty straightforward actually so we want to determine the mean of x bar and the standard deviation of x bar this is also known as standard error from the given parameters of the population and sample size okay well you're given the mean standard deviation and the sample size Let's open up the sampling distribution calculator. If you go to statpowers.com under sampling, sampling distribution for the mean. All right, and then we're just gonna put in what's the mean. We're told 84 is the mean. We're gonna, we have the population standard deviation is 28, and we're told the sample size is 49. Okay, now if we uh, go down just a little bit, I'm gonna scroll up actually. And show you uh, the uh, this is telling us that the the mean of x bar is 84 the standard deviation of x bar is 4 that's the standard error so I mean it's it's calculating that stuff for us we can just type that stuff in to stack uh, to my stat lab I think that might be everything that we're asked to do in a problem like this 